How's it going, YouTube? It's your boy Top So next, coming at you with an Imperium Duelist Navigator deck box review. Now, this deck box came out back in December of last year, and I've had it since December of last year. But I wanted to, um, I wanted to make this review. Originally, this was the this was the deck box that actually kind of got me into wanting to make uh, deck box reviews, um, as because of some of the problems that I've had with this deck box. Uh, if, if any of you know me personally, you'll know that this is one of the deck boxes uh, from a company that I've gotten recently. Like, I've gotten Gem Tech, I've gotten Mana Moon now at this point, I've gotten Armored Corgi, I've even gotten, like, some of the Chinese ones. I've gotten, uh, I think it's called Smart Tech, Smart something. Um, like, I've, got, I've gotten a bunch. But at the end of the day, this is the only one that I've gotten and had some sort of, like, problem with the actual deck box. And the company behind them hasn't wanted to um has hasn't wanted to, t to open a discussion at all like like even a little bit uh even when i'm not even asking for a refund uh i when i when i reached out to imperium duelist about the problems that i had with this deck box uh they originally ignored me when i pushed what they did is they gave me a 15 percent refund basically they shut me up or they they basically said here's 15 percent refund or you send us back the deck box, get a full refund. There was no, oh, like maybe we can replace it. Oh, maybe we can uh, figure out what's going on. Uh, talk to you about it. Uh, instead, they just took all the information that I collected and sent them, and threw it away and said, yeah, here, just shut up. Um, essentially, um, at the end of the day, I don't want to. I don't want to judge an entire company by what might have been just one employee. Uh, but I don't have any other recourse when I've emailed them twice about it and, uh, or two separate email chains, but I've emailed, uh, but, uh, it's, it's more than two emails, but two separate email chains. Um, and, uh, I've gotten basically either the same response or no response. So I, I wanted to just kind of point that out because if, uh, you, if anybody, who is watching this is like an affiliate or ha or uh, knows somebody in Imperium Duelist who can reach out and talk. I would absolutely love to. You can reach out to me on my Twitter at Toff Draws. You can reach out to me on uh, you can reach out to me on YouTube. You can reach out to me by my email. You guys have my email. Um, it is attached to my order, so you know no worries if not. But uh, just wanted to get into it. So before before the uh, before the uh, review. Because uh, I am going to be a little harsh on things during the review, I will be lenient on some things, but I'll try to, but I'll try to stay completely honest on some stuff. Uh, so that without further ado, sorry for the quick three minute diatribe. Let's get right into the review. So immediately we do have this beautiful artwork on the front of Nami from One Piece, uh, with with the Navigator deck box. I do really enjoy the embossed uh styling of it it look uh the monochrome version of it the, uh this is a really in my opinion uh, a beautiful piece of art this is great um the nami jolly roger at the top absolutely uh cute super cute really nice uh does make your deck box kind of stand out when you look at it uh it's, it's very cute and then on the back you have this embossed version of the sunny and this is uh, of the sh of the ship uh that the straw hat crew is on and uh, absolutely love it. This is absolutely great. It looks like something ripped straight out of the manga. Um, and if it is, you know, that's cool. But at the same time, like, this is... Uh, I do absolutely love this. This is great. Like, it looks it looks great and it feels great. Um, it's not too deep, but yet it still stands out really well. Um, so, ab absolutely, I think I think that's great. Uh, on the inside is where, where we start getting some of the other problems. But uh, I guess before we open them, I guess I'll get into my first problem. So when I first got this deck box, there you can immediately see that the corner did have a little bit of a scuff. Those two little dots on it are not from something I have done. That is, uh, that is just peeling on, uh, the on the actual like orange bits. And I again, uh, I do not understand where that came from, but that is just another thing. Uh, I don't know if it's visible from here. It kind of is. Uh, you can kind of see down there. Uh, towards the oh, towards the bottom here. That there is a what looks like a scrape uh that was like that again when i got it um the the little separate the little ding here where it looks like it got hit like that um where it's like a little flat 
uh that is that is from me i did i did have it that's where it went bloop and it's it it was studied completely good it, was, it still looks completely fine it sits perfectly good there's no actual wobbling i have to actually like lift it up for it to wobble so in that regard it's good but let's get into the inside here so when you open it up you get this really gorgeous uh, artwork of the wanna poster and nami's navigator compass down here in some sand um sorry about the lighting a little bit like the lighting will make it kind of muted in this regard but um you know we <laughs> uh don't have that professional setup yet um but at the, again at the end of the day this is uh this this is part of where the problem starts uh so we'll we'll get into the problems at the end of it but you have this glorious art uh, glorious uh, you have this great art of like the one poster the navigator uh the navigating compass and then you have uh these cardboard inserts basically um they don't come out but this is where you have you where you can put your deck and stuff uh i like this i do really like this design where you have like the double kind of tower box design uh there is a dice tray in this um i'll lay it like that so we can put, see here we have this dice tray uh the, this dice tray is underneath of your deck boxes uh where your deck box uh, decks go sorry um and very you have this really nice kind of wide dice tray uh that comes out of here uh i really do like this dice tray in that regard because it is it is pretty uh it, it's it's nice it's wide you can fit like a pencil for keeping track of life point stuff in it or uh you know just life or whatever scores that you need in general uh for whatever game you're playing and then you know you can keep like a little keychain in it if you really wanted to you you know you keep your dice it, it has ample amounts of storage for stuff that you would need for an event you can keep your damage counters and stuff in here like like the keychain that i have here is just like about as big as most damage counters for like pokemon or for like the burn counters and stuff um so to get into the things about the deck box that are a little problematic um because ultimately that is it uh this is all plain color this is plain color on the back and the sides are both plain color as shown before um there is no other logos i think i i will say that is one of the things i do enjoy about uh this deck box is that there is not a like smattering of uh of logos or anything on it so like you don't have like an Imperium Duelist logo or like the horse head like plastered anywhere. It is specifically um like a it, like the deck box is it kind of limited in that regard. Like there's no to be fair, there's no real way to like know that this is a, this is an Imperium Duelist product without knowing that this is an Imperium Duelist product, which I think that is something that you could fix in a way uh really easily uh because something like this would nobody would re really care if you put like if you filled up this real estate a little bit with like a single logo like in the corner which just says imperium duelist on it like something like that would be absolutely fine uh and for for stuff in the future i think i think that would be fine um but like oh but ultimately here's where the problems kind of start so on the wanted poster itself you have uh where it says wanted up here you can kind of see it so the text is extremely close to the top, and the uh, at all the text gets run through by this seam up here. You can even see here that the wanted in the wanted uh, in the wanted part of it f comes off the actual like this. The, it starts to roll off the actual uh, deck box, and the stitching runs straight through it and straight down and runs straight into the uh, this side of the stuff, and it runs straight through these little like uh accoutrements these little like extra bits which look like they're about to fall off the edge too but then you come over to this side and these are pretty far away from the stitching and and like so so you can see it's very clearly off center to from the right to the left um immediately from that kind of stuff um where like your wanted is falling off the side but like your d has still your d like it's still getting hit by the stitching on this side now but it's it's not far enough that like it, that looks like it's falling off. So like what look like to me what looks like it happened is this this ver uh this version of it whatever like the image was just too big or something and it got a little too pushed to the left. Like somebody maybe just when when they had the image like made it just they enlarged it a little bit and it went bloop or bloop and because it did that um you know stuff kind of starts running off. 
I think that that's an easy fix. In general, like you just kind of got to fix what you're printing here, but in but in it's just not a very good uh, attention to detail. Does it matter so much down here with the navigator compass? No, because like realistically, you're not seeing any of this. Like the runoff stuff doesn't matter for the stuff down here, but up here, like up here, relatively would. Uh, likewise, I uh, like it's just uh, like it, it stuff being off center. Like to me, is just a little bit of a uh, to me is a little bit of a problem. But ultimately, when you have like you have pieces of the artwork that are falling off the edge of it, uh, for the most part, stitching running through it, uh, it's off center. It's just it's sized wrong. Uh, it's clearly something went wrong with the whole image of like what's going on up here, and uh, nobody really sought to fix it. And uh, so, so, and that's just the beginning of some of the qualms that I have. But uh, moving on to like the deck box part of it. Uh, so this whole white bit on the inside here, this is supposed to be one, or at least it looks like it's one solid piece when they show the images of it. But actually, this divider piece in the middle here, you can kind of see like the separation there. Uh, this is an inserted piece. Uh, that you can that you can see like there's this big kind of gap here and then followed by this up here This is like a slotted part being glued in um, It being separated like that isn't isn't like a huge issue but when you when the image that you had on the website shows like a solid like inserted piece for the for this it makes me think that it's going to be that in the actual product and not going to look worse in the actual product that I get. Uh, same thing with like the stitching here. They have like this stitching back here, which does that bulging thing that like the, the gem tech sometimes has an issue with. But also on this side, you can kind of see it uh, from you can kind of see it from this angle. There's like a piece of black cloth or something that's like that's in that's been inserted, and then this has been glued back together. By the way this this like this white inside isn't stitched in even though this has an entire stitching pattern around it this is just glued together um so like this 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 whole deck box is just held together by glue uh for the most part like the stitching isn't actually like the the stitching doesn't seem to actually do anything uh from what it from what it looks like and then part of the issue that i have with this deck box comes in the form of the dice tray specifically so the dice tray specifically is a big problem part of of the, of the whole thing. So first of all, um, sorry, I was just looking at the damages on there, um, to to just you know retake my uh, uh stock on stuff. Um, this th th this dice tray, while I really do like the size of it, I think this is a great idea. So again, it has this white bit in it that's supposed to be one piece and. It's, you know, you, again, you can see the seams. It's not entirely one piece, sure. But it also has this black band around it. Uh, this black band around it on the top and on the bottom of it, uh, this didn't exist in, um, in, on the website. Like, that, like, this black outline part didn't exist. And this, it wraps around the whole thing up to the purple, up to the orange face. So essentially they like so what I assume what they did is they added this extra black bit because the it's supposed to make it fit more snug in uh in here. But when they did that, right? When they when they put that there, they this isn't stitched on. Again, this like this this whole orange bit here has stitching that runs all along it. You can see the stitching if I hold it up. That stitching doesn't isn't real. That stitching isn't stitching this like these things to each other. This is glued on to here, and I know that for a fact because when I first pulled this out, when I first pulled on the pull, pulled on this, my finger pulled and it caught on the orange piece and it pulled this entire piece off. So like this felt like this came off. So again, I understand completely that this entire deck box is kind of just held together by glue. And it's not like stitched together or or like or or just or it, or in, it reinforced by glue or something similar to like maybe how Gemtech would or, or something like that. This is just a deck box that's held together by some glue, and something like this needs to have a higher standard, uh, or else it's going to basically fall apart. When you pull this out, 
like I had to yank this out originally because because the grip on this was so hard. Um, the glue that they used uh for the for for the I guess they put put it in they put it in here while it was still wet. Um, and when they did that, what ended up happening was. Uh, it got stuck in here, and that's why I had to yank so hard, and it got, you know, I had, and I got caught, and I basically ripped the front off. I eventually fixed everything, and I got it to, and I got it pretty, like, well, and there's, like, no damage on the actual inside of the box, and there's no damage to, like, the sides or anything of this. It And, like, I was able to use super glue myself and re-glue this together, but outside of that, um... Like I like having to do my own repairs on a deck box doesn't bode too well in my opinion for like this for the scoring. So without too much more rambling, let's get on to the the score and uh, yeah we'll 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 get there. The score is actually not going to be too bad for this deck box because it is actually uh, if if it was if it was a, uh, in itself. Um, not fall not not like poorly made it, this would have been you know a great deck box but uh i, I would have had a great score but the score is only going to be menially low I and mean, we'll talk about that when we get to it so first of all the price uh the price for this is four out of five because the original price of the deck box is 45 dollars um and if this deck box didn't have any problems i absolutely would say this price is a four out of five as it stands right now with the problems that i have if this is a normal for the navigator deck box uh, this would be, I, I was, I would label this a two out of five. Um, but I also, I also wasn't trying to judge it on, uh, on that merit when it comes to price. When I judge price, I tend to think of it more as, uh, a, the price of a luxury item for what you get out of it. And for this design of a deck box, I think 45 is good. I spent $55 on this after shipping. So at the end of the day. Um, b before my 15% refund, mind you, which only, you know, it was only a couple of dollars, but at the end of the day, again, uh, 45 for a deck box like this, I don't think is, I don't think it's really bad, uh, with the designs and stuff that it promised. I think that's really good. But, uh, again, uh, the problems that I had were a little bad. So that's why this, the detail, uh, score is a two out of five. I love the uh for what they did on the outside of the deck box for the uh, Nami, the Sunny, the the Jolly Roger, and the ideas that they had. I gave them a two out of five. Realistically, I should have give I should have given them a one out of five for having to even repair my own deck box, um, in a sense, and then you know just not getting any uh um the complete lack of response of uh, responses and stuff from imperium duelist i think also should have given it like a one or even a zero realistically but i really didn't want to i didn't want to basically attack imperium duelist when ultimately it could have just been maybe a bad employee maybe some maybe just bad timing if this was around christmas and stuff so i just i wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt and not absolutely really you know ream them for it uh, for the time I for for the time aspect, I gave them a five out of five, and that's because uh, even though I did drop it and I did ding the corner a little bit, the corner still looked magnificent, and at least in the form of uh, you know the shape, and uh, thankfully uh, the time frame for ordering it to getting it was spectacular, especially compared to the to Gem Tech and a, and absolutely compared to Mana Moon. Where Mana Moon, your pre-order would take you about a year to get to you. And for uh, Gem Tech, it takes about four months for your order to get to you. For uh, similar, to the, similar to Armored Corgi, when I ordered this, it was sent shortly after. So they made these, they made a lot of these before, they, before even listing them on the website. So absolutely, uh, the wait time was menial. I ordered this on December 9th of last year. And I received it on December 14th of last year. So I only waited five days to get it. And I paid $10 for shipping. So absolutely worth it, in my opinion, when it comes to when it comes to shipping time and duration time. I think that this is, I think five out of five for this is absolutely worth it. Um, and then continuing on to the personal score. I personally love this deck box. I do. I use this deck box frequently. Um, and I, I do actually, I do absolutely love it. I think this deck box is great. 
I wish it was just, I think, I, I just wish they had a little bit more attention to the detail and it would have been, and, and it would have been a five out of five. Like if this didn't have the problems that it did, easily a five out of five. Um, so like adjusted for the problems, I think that there's probably a different score that would be given, but absolutely. I think, um, that this is what the score would look like, uh, given a, a given what I have. So for how much did I personally like the deck box and everything, I think at the end of the day, I, I, uh, giving this an 80% out of a hundred, um, or a 15 out of 20 is very generous of a score. Um, but at the end of the day, I think I'm giving them this high of a score because I'm giving them a lot of benefit of the doubt here. If, if I took that benefit of the doubt away, we'd be much closer to like a 60% or even lower. Um, and that being said, uh, don't take it there, Like, uh, that being said, I do want to, I do want to say to Imperium Duelist, this isn't a call out to you guys to be like, oh, you guys need to do like, like you guys, in my opinion, this, this is indicative of you guys need to do better. I don't want to, I don't want to like put you on a pedestal as like a horrible company. Um, again, just disclaimer, this is from my experience. Um, if, if for any, again, uh, like I said in the beginning, if anybody from Imperium Duelist wants to reach out to me, uh, my, my, my email is connected to my YouTube. You also have my email and my order history. Uh, uh it's under the name Top Cynics, just like, uh, just like, uh, the YouTube channel. Uh, likewise, um, you can reach out to me on Twitter. Uh, at Toff uh, at, at Toff underscore draws, it'll be in the description below as well. I always link. I usually always link my uh, Twitter as well as well as my affiliates and my Discord stuff. If you have if you have somebody who's on Discord, you can also reach out to me again. The invite to the Discord is in the corner down here below. Uh, so if anybody watching in general wants to join the Discord, the invite link will be in the description. But also, if you know, I'm giving. I'm trying to give multiple avenues of communication outside of just email you guys can reach out to me all the in all those ways including discord um i am the only toff in my discord <laughs> so uh or if like there's a problem you feel free to reach out to one of my admins one of my admins will absolutely connect us there's no problems there's absolutely no way like as you don't even have to go through the entire form of uh, of of joining and accepting the rules like as soon as you get to the discord you can see that if i'm online and you can dm me immediately so absolutely uh you, you know like multiple avenues of uh and ways to uh, get a hold of me and i would absolutely love it if possible because one i would love to be affiliate with you guys i do absolutely love your sleeves like your sleeves are the best part about your stuff right <laughs> Um, but the deck box here today uh, has shown that, like, I think that either either you guys have, either you guys are overstepping a bit, or f or um, for for like what your products are, which I mean is very possible. It's a thing that could happen. Um, but I don't want to make that assumption because, again, this is my only deck box from you guys, and the part of the biggest issue is I didn't want to, I haven't wanted to spend uh, another fifty five dollars just to verify that it's not that this is a one-time problem because if this is a one-time problem then <laughs> i you know like it just kind of sucks that i had it at the end of the day i do like the deck box do really love it i hope you guys all have a magnificent day uh if you guys want to save 10 percent off gem tech uh you, you got this here and you got the link in the description if you guys want to join the discord uh it shows over here invite in the description it'll also be on the end screen up here in the corner I uh, love you guys. I, I love you. Like all of you guys have given me so much inspiration to do this kind of stuff. And it absolutely means the most. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day. God bless you all. Peace.